I've been thinking a lot about Ghost Recon Breakpoint, Year 2, and what Ubisoft Paris has in store for the game. I know a lot of people on the forums have been asking for various types of new mechanics to be added into the game for Year 2, but I don't see a lot of these things being added into the game now. We have to understand, as gamers, that from a development standpoint, a lot of these mechanics are not going to be added to the game at this point in time. Things like repelling down helicopters, repelling gear from mountains and buildings, being able to drag enemies and teammates instead of picking them up, changing the animations we see now, a gear management system which I've spoken about, AI teammates driving us to locations. There are so many great ideas that circulate on my Discord, on the forums, on Reddit, but we have to think realistically about what Ubisoft Paris is going to add as year two content. What we see in the game today will be built upon with the systems that are already in place. So for me, I thought about what I'd like to see moving forward in year two, especially on Moa Island. And I came up with a top five list that I would like to see in Ghost Recon Breakpoint for year two. So let's get into it. Number one, I would like to see new models for buildings. I'd like to see an island that feels more militarized. I'd like the compounds to have the feeling of militarization and mobilization. Gone should be the structures of Aroa and J Skell architecture. Now, I'm hoping that Ubisoft has created some new architectural designs for Moa Island in comparison to what we've seen as far as scale building models. Can we assume Skell has had no part of that island and its architectural landscape? I'm not sure, but creating new building models for Moa Island would have been a smart thing to do in my opinion, and I'd like to see Moa Island have a different look architecturally than Aroa. Worst case scenario, we see a more nitty gritty island with models that resemble the old war sites on Aroa. Number two, more vegetation on the island. I'd like to see a more dense environment in the jungles of Moa Island. Gaimanes in Wildlands was one of my favorite provinces to roleplay in. The sheer density of the vegetation in that province made it extremely fun to play in. I'd like to see Moa Island have some areas that have very thick jungle vegetation. I think Aroa lacks this type of landscape and it would be nice to see on Moa Island in year two. Number three, enemies with new gear. I've been seeing little additions here and there that Ubisoft have been adding to the enemies. Most recently, I've realized enemies now utilizing backpacks. I would love to see enemies on Moa Island have a completely new gear set from head to toe. More tactical looking, fatigues, night vision on their head, things like that. It would be nice to see the enemies that populate Moa Island have a more militarized feel to them, which would complement the more militarized feel of the compounds. Number 4. Larger Compounds I think we need larger compounds to get lost in with more enemies. There's no denying the fact that all of the compounds on Aroa Island look the same, feel the same, and are relatively the same size. Now I'm not sure if this is an engine issue, I'm not sure if Ubisoft designs this in a way to ensure that there are no issues with gameplay, however, the Aroa Parliament has a really nice size to it, but it's set up in a way where it's not very fun to attack. It's mostly empty and feels barren. There aren't many enemies, but it's a large enough area to where it makes me think, perhaps we can get some compounds at that size. If we can get more areas like that in a militarized form, it will be exactly what the game needs at this point. Number five. Last but not least, adding laser beams and mines to the game world. We've seen the addition of laser beams and compounds in episode two. After that, we don't see them ever again. We also see mines added into the jungle on Gollum Island, and we don't see them anywhere else in the world. These mechanics that are already in the game should be utilized more on Moa Island. I'd like to see more laser beams in doorways and other various locations within compounds. I'd also like to see the mines that we have on Gollum Island populate the jungles of Moa Island. I understand that from a gameplay perspective, the developers might not want to have these components everywhere. But, at the very least, we need to have more of these two mechanics in the game. 
Now, for those of you watching this and wondering why this top five is so lackluster, again, you have to think of this from a game developer's point of view. Ubisoft Paris is not building new and complex systems for Ghost Recon Breakpoint at this time. All of the things that we would like to see that I mentioned in the beginning of this video have a better chance of being added in a new game. I'm looking at the things that I already see in the game and I'm just hoping that they can take many of these systems and implement them on a larger scale on Moa Island. So yes, I'd like some things change on the design side of the game. New architecture, new enemy clothing, and things like that. Nothing that requires intense programming. But outside of that, I think the developers need to tweak a few things, like making bigger and more complex compounds for players to attack. And some components already built in the game like mines and laser beams should be added to other areas in the game and you could easily create an island that could be more fun to play on than Aroa if these mechanics are included. So let me know what you think. Taking into consideration of what I said about not asking for things that we know are not going to be built for Ghost Recon Breakpoint, what are some things you would like to see in year two that are within reason of what you believe Ubisoft Paris can make? Let me know in the comments and we'll discuss some things. That's all for now, ghosts. Everyone have a great day and I will see you all in the next video. All right, guys, peace.